The Mountaineer is West Virginia. You're going to be the one representing 1.8 million people to the nation, sometimes to the world. When you become the Mountaineer, it changes you. It makes you look at everything that you do and want to be your very best. If you had the opportunity to be the Mountaineer, yes, you're going to be rah-rah at the sporting events, but we are representing the whole state beyond the university. And that was always something very special to me. The moment I was first selected was one of the coolest moments of my life. Like coming out and they give, they literally hand you the right, the coolest thing ever in front of all the people. And it was just like, I mean, looking back now, that moment shaped who I am now. A lot of people don't realize we're a full-time student as well. Some people think this might be a, a year removed from school or whatever, and we just wear the Mountaineer full-time. That's not true in the slightest. We are a full-time student. We have the burdens of, uh, that normal students have, but you just have to learn how to manage that and make sure that you don't extend yourself too much because at the end of the day, we're here to get a degree. And at the same time, we have an amazing opportunity to serve the state and serve the university. You have a name when you're the Mountaineer when you're an animated mascot like these other schools you're the orange or you're the hawk when you're in the buckskins people know you're that you're the mountaineer but even when you're not in the buckskins you're walking on campus or you're out at the mall or you're at a restaurant or you're pumping gas somewhere somebody's gonna see you and they're like, hey that's the mountaineer so many of these mascots there are d d tons of them there are a bunch of the people who represent that person but in West Virginia, there's really one Mountaineer. That's really it. The athletic side of being the Mountaineer literally just scratches the surface. You speak to people, you speak to conferences, organizations, to school kids beyond what you do in the sports arena. You go to a basketball game for two hours or one of six or seven game days in the fall, but they don't think about getting out of class on a Monday and going to a school in the community or just having an entire day worth of visits in the bottom of the state in you know Bluefield, West Virginia or all the way into the Eastern Panhandle uh, in Shepherdstown. Anytime I will, for example, go to an elementary school, I always want to instill some of the Mountaineer values and that I grew up having. Being a good person, making good grades, um, all the things that make West Virginia so unique, looking out for our own, things along those lines. As a Mountaineer, if you got an opportunity to, you know, touch someone's life in a positive manner, you know, just to put a smile on a kid's face for a little while, you know, it really makes an impact on you too. Years later, I've had people come up to me and I remember when you came to my school and that's pretty special. When you put the buckskins on, it just be, you become, I don't know, there's just a weird confidence that like comes to you that I don't have when I don't have it on. If you were the Mountaineer, you're part of a club that's uh, very exclusive in a lot of ways. Those people know exactly what you went through and what you did, and a lot of your experiences are the same. When I put this outfit on, I feel invincible. So that was almost 30 years ago. I still put it on and we have our reunions and we all had our, our tops on at least, a little bit tighter, but I still feel invincible.